Hi, in today's video I'm going to show you what I picked up from Madame Glam. I scream every time I see a box like this come through the mail because I just love the Madame Glam gel polishes. So I picked up a few colours that I needed and then I picked up some stuff that I wanted to try. So the first colour, it's this dark emerald green and it's called Deep Emerald. I didn't have a colour like this in my collection so I'm really excited to try this. I hope it's pigmented enough. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> it's hard picking colours online. So as soon as I saw that it's like really, really dark green, which is what I wanted, I'm just so excited to try this one. So that's one coat, I'm gonna put that in the lamp to cure. Now I'm gonna do the second coat. What a difference with the second coat. It's crazy how dark that's gone. That almost looks black. Hmm. Show what, I might need to mix this. The first coat looked perfect. And then the second coat, I think it looked too dark. When I hold it under the flash, that's the color that I want. Maybe it's just too dark in here. Okay, so I turned the lights on. I bought another soft box because I was just using one and it's 5.30 at night, so it's pretty dark here. I did another swatch, but I did two thinner coats compared to this one. And there is a little bit of a difference, but it still looks quite dark for what I was looking for. I'm now gonna show you this color, which is called Blissfully, oh, Blissfully Yours. I already have a lilac, but I was looking for more of a blue-toned lavender, like a periwinkle colour, and this one is perfect. So let's swatch this one now. Okay, and then cure that and then do a second coat. By the way, I just realised this is now 21 free before it used to be nine free and now it's free from 21 ingredients that are bad which is crazy that there's 21 that's used so that's blissfully yours the next color is called summer coming i wanted to get a pinky nude that's um really pigmented the ones i've got they are not as pigmented as this one here. This one is amazing. Really, really good coverage. That covers in one coat, that's amazing. I am gonna do two though. And then a second coat. This one is my favorite so far. This is the sort of pigment that I want from all of the colors. <laughs> so that one is Summer Loving. By the way, if you want anything from Madame Glam, you can use my code. I'm not sure if it's still working, but you can try. It's for 30% off. I'll put it on the screen and I'll link it in the description. Um, you can click the link and then put the code in at the end. So the next color is called Shimmer Sexy Berry. So I was looking for a shimmery dark red. Um, I don't have any shimmery colors in my collection i've got like a few glitters but not a color like this to be honest i don't like shimmery colors personally and i keep letting my personal taste affect my color collection so i need to get a lot more shimmery colors looking at this now this isn't even as shimmery as i was hoping to get but that's fine because this is a color that i personally would wear because it's not too glittery <laughs> so it's worked out well for me but not for my color collection okay let's see what it looks like with the second coat i think this color would be nice for christmas time which is perfect as it's not too far away yeah that's beautiful 
So this one is Shimmer Sexy Berry. The next two colours I got oh, um, are to do a tortoiseshell design. The yellow one is called Dipped in Honey and the brownie one is called Caffeinated. So it's like a glass sort of polish. And I saw these on Enchanted, but Enchanted Nails by Kelly. On her Instagram, she's got a reel showing you how to do tortoiseshell. And it's such a helpful video. I'll try find it and link it in the description box below. Um, she uses a stamping plate as well, which makes it look so easy. And I'm going to try to create tortoiseshell by hand. And I'll see if I can do it with a stamping plate as well. But um, I need to find the one that has blodgy designs for that for the tortoiseshell design um, I'll do these two together I don't think anyone is gonna want to do this color on its own um, so I might take these swatches off after um, and then just practice tortoiseshell and have that as a swatch Should I uh, do two coats to show you? Because normally I think it's, oh, it's the yellow one and then black and then this on top. But I don't have black with me because I'm at home and because I rent a room now in a, in a hair salon, um, I don't have colours at home. I only have a few. I think I need to stir these as well. I keep forgetting to mix it. Let me do another coat of the brown and see what happens, but let me stir it. Right, let's have a look. Oh, there she is. <laughs> when she's mixed, she comes out. Yeah, that's just perfect tortoiseshell colours. Oh, look what I did. Yeah, I'm going to take these off and then use them for different something else. But yeah, I do recommend these two colors, really nice. Okay, so the next one is a white. I was running really low on my white and I was gonna purchase the same one, but I thought I would try the Madame Glam one since they are, the polishes are quite pigmented. I'm hoping that I can use this for French as well because um, some whites you have to do two coats to get a good amount of pigment. Um, I'm going to give this a good stir and then get a liner brush. Oh, that one's quite long, not that one. Um, get like a medium longish liner brush. Um, I got these liner brushes from, I think I got it from AliExpress. I can't remember, but I'll link them down below. Now, let me see. That's annoying, my wonky table. Let me see if I can create French with one line. Dun, dun, dun. It's not bad. I'll only be able to tell once I do it on someone and then in another video I'll get back to you. But yeah, that's not too bad. I would need to buy one of those pot white gels, um, those like paint pots to compare. And then let's see oh, what it looks like as a full color. course it is perfect yeah that's lovely it's called perfect white for a reason so that's perfect white it was good with the first coat it wasn't wishy-washy and with the second coat it is like a perfect white I'm happy with that the next two products I got I wanted to test out so the first one is the velvet matte top coat I have only done matte on someone's nails once. It's not something that's popular, 
but um, now that I am renting a room in a salon, I just wanted a better quality one. I got like a small cheap one and it is really old. So I wanted to get a better quality one and something that's new. Um, I had to shake this really well for it to work. I just tested it out because I did two emerald green colors. I thought on one of them, on the darker one, I'll try it out. And yeah, I definitely need to stir this really, really well. And yeah, it does its job. It's all matte, I'll show you. One thing that I get worried with matte top coats is how well it's gonna last. Um, so I need to test that out on myself before I can share that. And I might just do, my nails really need to be redone. Um, I've ruined them at work. I'll try, I don't even know what to try first. There's so many options. And another thing that I got that I wanted to try out is the Madame Glam Peel Off Base Coat. I already love the Cuccio one, but I, watched, I just wanted to see if the Madame Glam one works well. I've noticed that it is um, thicker than the Cuccio one. And yeah, I'm excited to see how this one is gonna turn out. Oh, that green next to the other colors for some reason looks more green. It's just when I held it next to the black bottle, it looked darker, possibly. So yeah, those are the colors that I picked up. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you next time. Bye.